Pastor Paul Teske has over 40 years of ministry experience as a church planter, senior parish pastor, Navy chaplain, and seminar speaker. He has ministered in over 60 countries and has appeared on numerous television and radio shows. He has collected over the years a wealth of knowledge and understanding about kingdom work in different areas of ministry and now makes himself available as a mentor to impart wisdom into those who seek his counsel. If you're at a place in your life where you need wisdom, invest a few minutes of your time and watch Rev Up with Rev. Welcome to Rev Up with Rev. I want to share with you some thoughts from my heart that may be helpful for you. Why is a Lutheran pastor engaged in a healing ministry? Well, if you want to know the answer to that, I want to encourage you to go to my YouTube channel and check out my testimony about how God healed me from a stroke and, and ushered my wife and I into this healing ministry. But I want to talk to you specifically about healing in the different areas that God touches. Often when we think about healing, we always think about the physical. And God is a God who heals the physical. But there are other elements of healing. There's emotional healing. You can have a broken heart. Somebody trample on your heart, crush that trust that you once had, and, and you think, I, I can never get it back. I can never trust again. And I can assure you that God wants to heal your heart. He wants you to be able to trust again. I know people uh, that have told me because of something that happened to them in their past with their father or, or a friend or something that they'll never trust again. But I've seen those hearts healed and trust ushered back into their lives. Sometimes it's easier to pray for a broken leg than a broken heart. But there are other areas. There's, there's strongholds on our mind. People that live with fear and anxiety and worry and self-hatred and, and self-rejection and suicidal thoughts. Your mind can be healed. Those mental strongholds can be, can be broken. There's another area of healing we don't think about. It's relational healing. Oftentimes when things aren't going our way, we, we just want to throw in the towel. We want to walk out of a marriage or a relationship. Uh, maybe you're struggling with your children. But God can heal that relationship. He can restore what the enemy has tried to steal. And there's a, the, probably the most important area of healing uh, is in your spirit. That God wants to restore you through the blood of Jesus Christ and, and cleanse you of all your sins so you can be in a perfect and righteous relationship with Him. So the areas of healing are not just the physical, but also your emotional or your mental or relational or, or spirit man. That, in fact, the word salvation comes from the Greek word soterion, which means wholeness, wholeness of your whole body. Your, 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 not only just your mind and your heart and your body and, and relationships, but your spirit. God wants wholeness for you. And this is available through Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. So can He heal you? Absolutely. In all areas? Absolutely. That's the God we serve. So let these thoughts resonate in your heart and realize that whatever you bring before God to heal and restore, He can do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thanks for taking the time to watch our weekly Rev Up with Rev. If you have a topic question, please email us at info at paulteske.com and we'll respond by blog, Facebook, and Twitter. Also check out our website at paulteske.com. God bless and have a great day.